Hey, how you doing guys? For this uh, video, we're gonna I'm gonna talk about the AMD Threadripper 3990X with 64 cores. It's I think it's been for, released fairly uh, recently. Now, the reason for this video is not quite what you think, but it's uh, it's because um, often me and other people in the tech in or in the interested in tech tech nerds or whatever. Uh, we often debate about technology, and I was on the uh, Red Shark website, and there's an article, of course, on this AMD Threadripper, and uh, where they contend this would be great for video editors, which I, I, I stated it could be. Now, if you're coming from a previous generation Threadripper, I would say no, and um, I'm going to tell you why. Uh, that's the whole contention of the video. and. Uh, this has to do with MDES law, um, simply by adding more CPU cores. Um, each time you add more to certain processes, uh, for instance, you take a serial process, um, put it in parallel, and then, and then convert it back into serial process. Um, each time you add a more core to try to make it faster, you're going to have a diminishing rate of return for each core you add. So just doubling cores, um, yes, it will speed it up, but not by very much. And I'm going to show you uh, some t uh, test results uh, that we found out, uh, do some internet research. And it, this even goes into um, somebody posted on Red Shark, uh, a red camera even made a blurb about the uh, new AMD processor, how faster it made uh, their uh, red code raw. Um, video files a lot more easier to edit on the timeline now i do contend uh doubling doubling your cores will have some advantages it just depends um for instance um if you're doing some edit video editing on the timeline yes it probably would make it a little bit faster because each process is uh separate in its in of itself but when you export video that's different so you, you may see uh, speeding up on the timeline, but export and render, it's not going to be may, make much difference over a previous generation. And uh, some of the uh, sources I'm going to be doing, uh, if you look in the comment section, uh, now I did uh, find this research. Like I said, I want to find some test results on the old um, processor with the new processor. For instance, the... Uh, 3970X with 32 cores for the Threadripper and the, the newer 3990X 64 cores. And so they actually did some comparison testing. Now this is on Optimum Tech. So uh, I thank them for their testing and I'm gonna put that in the comment section so you can check it out for yourself and the test results. Uh, for instance, they um, compared both uh, with both uh, DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro. And they were virtual identical in the amount of time it took to export out. And that's where, like I said, that's uh, the reason why MDEL's law comes into play. Once you get up to a certain amount of cores, adding more really is not going to do very little. Uh, and I'm just putting, I'm just throwing out this number, maybe 28. Once you get to 28, when you're trying to um, parallel a serial process and then like I said convert it back to that singular uh, in this case uh, a video file would be your single uh, singular process exporting out it doesn't really make much difference past 28 cores yes you'll see maybe a 5% a increase in the amount of core by adding more cores or even a 2% but uh, you're also probably doubling or tripling the price of the process you're buying. So if you're a video, video editor who already has the um, 3970X and then thinking of moving up to the 3990X, it's you're just basically wasting your money. And expecting to have it twice as fast render speeds, which you're really not. Like I said, you might see um, faster... Editing on the timeline using effects and, and things like that, uh, depending if they're C, uh, they're based on CPU or GPU or something like that. So um, I, I kind of wanted to just throw throw my thoughts on that as well and the test results showing 
you know, they're virtually the same. So, um, you know, just doubling the cores it doesn't necessarily mean anything. In some cases, depending on the um, application or whatever, you may actually even see a slowdown because of this. So uh, thanks for watching and see you guys later.